So, uh, welcome to Ratchet and Clank Going Commando, Developer Commentary Edition. Hi. Welcome back. Hi. I'm Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And, uh, uh, you know, this is a completely different recording session. We are not also recording this on the 4th of July. Right. This is another day uh, in our hectic schedules. So any more patriotic references, uh, just ignore those uh, as, as, you know, the, the ramblings of two Americans. Right. So let's talk about, uh, before we get into the level, <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Oh, the, I thought this. I thought this scene was in. Uh, up your was in Ratchet Three. Yeah. Oh, dude, that. Uh, that I, there's a good story about that. Do you That's, remember the original scene? No, I don't. Oh, so uh, so the joke there was that Captain Quark escaped from prison by flushing himself to freedom. Right. But the original joke, the way it was originally written, was that he ch- he uh, chiseled his way out using only his firmly toned buttocks. Nice. Uh, but for some reason, that was deemed as not appropriate. Oh, that's a shame. I don't... I, I have no idea why. So, uh, I want to yes. just get into something really quick. Uh, seeing as you have now just begun this level, let's talk about the lava gun. And yes. how everybody hates us for what we did with the lava gun. Yeah, so the and lava gun, when it, when it upgrades, it turns into a worse gun. The meteor cannon. Yes. Which... I didn't think was that bad, but a lot of people really had a problem with it. It's not a good gun. I I don't know what else to say about it. Well, it I don't think it's that it's a bad gun. I don't think that's the problem. I think the problem is it changes the way it changes where the gun fits in in your arsenal. Really. That's true. And I think that's the main problem is that Bec- the lava gun the lava- has a very specific purpose. And exactly. the meteor gun has a completely different purpose than the lava gun. Why don't you explain what the different purposes are? Um, well, I don't understand it so much, so maybe you can help me out. But the lava gun is more of a, a streaming, hold down the button and spray an area, and everything around you is going to die. Yeah, it was about spinning in a circle. Right. So uh, if you've got... Oh, the lava gun isn't on here. I'm it was a continuous that. fire that as long as you held down the button and spun around, everything was going to get hit around you. Yes. You didn't, have relatively... to, you didn't have to aim the gun. You didn't have to do any of that. You just held down the button and things started taking damage. Yeah, it, uh, it, it was the same sort of weapon as the Pyrocitor from Ratchet 1. Right. Uh, which is to say that it uh, the function was to serve one that third-person games have that first-person games don't. Uh, which is, you know, that, that quick spin around while you're still facing the same direction. Right. So doing that is not something you can do in a first-person game. So it's kind of a good weapon to uh, 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 to have in a game like this, right? And then the meteor cannon uh, basically undid the stream portion of it, and it became oh, a, a straight projectile weapon. And it did. Uh, a lot of people really didn't like that. Yeah, it, uh, it it took it out of the role that they had sort of learned to use, or you know, they over the course of the game they've been trained on this role and. Uh, uh, and, learned to, to use it, and then it just sort of failed. And we didn't provide them with any other weapons that filled that role. So they just sort of lost a very important part of their arsenal when they upgraded the weapon. Yeah. Which I think is uh, a big lesson for us that we learned. Because it, we didn't really see it that way when we were designing it. We were like, well, it's stronger, it hits harder, it's, uh, it, it's better as far as we were concerned because it did more damage. But really, you know, we were I've already got at- to 10,000 bolts. Really? Yeah. I remember this is a big bolt jackpot level. The economy's picking up. Oh, crap. But yeah, uh, what I was saying is we learned a, a very important lesson that we had to, when we were designing the upgrades, because this is the first game we made that had upgrades in it, that we not only had to improve the damage and make it more flashy, but we had to preserve the function that was present in the weapon. Exactly. The weapon's role had to stay the same. It would be like if you were a... Uh, a tank in World of Warcraft, and you know, at obtaining level eighty, all of a sudden made you do DPS. Right. You'd be a little disappointed, or you know, maybe thrilled, depending on who you were. All right, let's see how this works. I don't think you should be using uh, the lava cannon for this. Well, it it did have that thing you could do with the double jump, but you're probably right. Ah. Uh, 
All right, uh, Seeker Gun, save me. Are you gonna make it? I made it. We really are up in the damage at you. Oh man, yeah. We're, uh, I'm pretty this sure is the this first. Is, I'm pretty sure this level you get the armor. This is the first level you can buy armor. Uh, I I wouldn't have been able to afford it. I don't think. Uh, Especially since there's a place that charges you money at the end of this in order for you to proceed. Right. Uh, so, given that I, I... Or given that I know that, at least. Well, I mean, Aww. that's one of the reasons why there's so much, so many bolts in this level. Because uh, we have the big bolt sink in oh. the armor. And then... Oh, oh Tony. Tony. <laughs> oh, God. This is... This section here I designed. Did you? And this is perhaps the worst part of this entire game. Really? You think this is the worst? This is as, lo as bad as this game gets? Yes. Oh, this uh, is a Mega I... Man challenge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did this challenge again recently, a couple, a couple months ago, and uh, failed it about 15 times, which was the only reason I could do that the <laughs> first time. Because I, I practiced. I cheated everybody. But uh, the problem with this challenge down here is I tuned it for me. That's a problem. Yeah, and I didn't tune it for me playing with the controller upside down or anything of that nature. I tuned it for me okay. as the expert you know, Ratchet and Clank player that I was. Yeah, from having played every day for two years. And, uh, and just watching people fail and fail and fail at that part uh, in the, the user test was just horrifying. Uh, and then me failing it, I just wanted to kick my own ass. It was uh, it was pretty traumatic. So let's see, I can do a glider here. Oh right, so you have to chase that guy. Yep, yep. Oh, there's a nan. Should I go for the nanotech? Uh, sure. Why don't you start over? Take a take uh, a dive. Oh nope, I gotta do it this way. You have to go this way to get that. You have to spin around and come back to get the nanotech. Oh really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, don't go for the nanotech. Then. That sounds hard. Yeah. See, because it shoots you down, and there's no way for you to get up. Okay, that sounds way too hard. Let's not do that. All right. Even though, you know, we're dying, and we could probably use all the extra health we can. Yeah, whatever. We'll That's get okay. it. I'm, pro I'm probably going to fail this one a ton of times anyway. Oh, God. This is uh, going to be another riveting section of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I, I imagine we're going to cut a lot of this out, too. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, uh, Tony, make with the entertaining, man. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just I'm riveted watching you play this. Oh, 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 man. We really make the player work hard on these glider sections. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh shit. Are you fucking kidding me? This is it's it's weird because these are really. These are really pretty to look at these sections, but mm -hmm. you're you're trying so hard that you can't admire all the awesome art that they did for this. Yeah, because I they're mean, so hard. Oh god. Okay, I have to not talk now. <laughs> You've told me I can't talk. While yeah, we you do have these. to just pass these. Just make it happen. Look at the skill, the beauty, the majesty in the electrolyzer puzzles. Oh man! Well, well done. First this try. This is gonna, this is gonna, you know, the game's getting hard enough that it's gonna turn into you talking and me shutting <laughs> up and concentrating. Oh god, what the hell is that room for? Whatever. Now let's get the goods on that experiment. What the? I think I see the problem. What? Now even the computers are charging us? That's it. This galaxy blows. I do like that joke. This reminds me of the Penny Arcade comic that they did. The one Penny Arcade comic they did for Ratchet and Clank. Yes. Where the... he walks up to a console and it requires a whole bunch of bolts. And he's <laughs> so short. He's... And so he looks to Clank with, uh, with an evil look in his eye. This was entirely yep. in it was a good comic. I think that was the only Ratchet and Clank comic they did. It is. They, I, I think they've only done the one. Although they've written about it a few times. Yeah. It's always fun to see little comics about your game. That, that, that sort of unexpected stuff from people that you just find out are fans. It's always nice when you see yeah. those things. 
Cyclops deep.